Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today and in this GarageBand iOS video, I'm going to show you a quick tip that can help you repair a dead track. That is a track where the audio wave looks like it's here, but when you play back, there is no audio. So let's go. Now this is something that occurs in GarageBand iOS on iPhone and iPad and the cause of it's a little bit unknown but it's usually when you have a number of tracks, especially audio recorder tracks and out of the blue a track like this backing vocal track will just disappear and it doesn't matter, we can solo it and hit play and there is literally no sound there. The good news is, we'll stop that, not that there's anything playing, is that there's a pretty simple fix to this most of the time. And I say most of the time because it won't always work, but it works probably at least 70 to 80% of the time. And that is to simply duplicate this track and copy our audio waveforms onto a new track and get rid of this dead track. So let's do that now. We're going to tap and tap duplicate on this track. And then we have our new track down here. What we now need to do is select all of the audio. And we could do this one by one, but you can see there there's a few pieces of audio. So what we're going to do is tap and hold to the left and drag a box over all of our audio. We'll now tap and tap again. And you can see they're all still highlighted there. So when we go copy, it's going to copy all of that. We then grab our playhead, put it to the right position, select our new track that's hopefully not going to be dead, tap and hit paste. So now we've got two copies of the exact same track. So if we come back to here where our backing vocal should be and we play this old track soloed, still we have no sound. But if we go back to that same point, let's now solo this new track. Be the last. And there is my spacey echoey backing vocal back in the mix. And when I unsolo it, Do anybody listening, getting up on your high horse. It is back, it's back in the mix and it is done. So all I need to do now is get rid of this track. So we're gonna tap there, we're gonna tap and hit delete. And now we'll just make sure this is still working. There it is. So there you have it, a quick way if you get that frustrating error like this where you're going along and for whatever reason, we don't know why, your track seems to mute itself and there's nothing you can do to get that audio back. This is a quick way that you can use that can hopefully get those audio files back in just by duplicating and creating a new track. I hope you found this useful. If you found this frustrating error in the past, hopefully this can help you and I'll see you on the next video.